guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I did your reading with a different format as you will see um, instead of doing a traditional masculine reading you know as a crystal ball or what have you uh, what I did was an elemental reading here and so it is it'll, it's um, a snapshot of both the feminine and masculine um, energy okay and then from that I pulled a past, present, and future card, as well as an overall energy card, which I, I read to you that um, will give you more, um, you know, a focused attention on what it is that you need to do. So, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there because it'll be a little confusing, you know, since I'm pulling for the both sides. Uh, and then, like I said, it will be more focused on you at the end. All right, cheers. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I wanted to introduce this new reading to you. And this is the only way to do it. All right, guys. Cheers. I hope you enjoy. Peace. Hi, Masculine. So this is going to be reading for you guys for January the 11th until the 22nd. I'm doing it every 11 days. Um, and that will allow me to get caught up on the readings and emails and whatnot. Um, I've been absent for over, over well over a week. And it's because my internet got shut off. So... Uh, yeah, so uh, be patient. If you've ordered a reading, it is coming. All right, so I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. I think what I'm going to do is... Okay, I think what I'm going to do is it's called an elemental reading. It's um, a re reading I kind of created earlier. Um, I can't remember if I've shown you guys or not, but basically I'm going to pull four cards which represent all the elements uh, for the feminine and same for the masculine. What I've done here is I actually got four different decks. Um, so each deck represents an element, okay? And so, um, yeah, I'll be able to see the story a little bit more clear. So anyway, I'm going to use these decks um, and I will put the name of the decks in the description box below. Um, I can't remember the name for all of them. Okay, so I'll pull all the cards for the masculine side first and then I'll do the feminine side. Okay, so this is going to be for the physical reality. So the hermit. Okay, so for the emotional chariot and I think this is for the mental, yep, two of swords. Let's put these up here. Can you see a bit better or are they too far away? Probably too far away, sorry. Okay. And so I'll just move on. Okay, so this is going to be for spiritual. Eight of Wands. All right, so same thing for the feminine side. So the physical <clears throat> is the Three of Pentacles. Emotional is Queen of Cups. Um, spiritual, Ace of Wands again. And mental is, wow, a ten of swords. A masculine got that in the past position. Um, so I'll, I'll get into it. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is going to represent the energy that's shared between the two, and that's the two of pentacles. So that rep represents balance. Okay, and so I've also shuffled these cards. So I'm going to pull one card 
which will represent the energy in the present moment for the feminine is the solar plexus chakra and for the masculine wow two of cups spiritual union cool all right so let me just have a look at these I, I can see them a little bit better if they're up here okay so what I see here is the masculine feels deeply connected with the feminine in the 5d he is at a crossroads he saw that crossroads being affected by the feminine in the twin flame reading he is in the hermit mode however he desires to either communicate or embody that eight of wands um, remember in the twin flame reading there was the eight of wands coupled with the knight of wands in the past so beautiful synchronicity here with the eight of wands and a desire to move forward emotionally um, between the two readings so uh, in the 3d reality like I said he is in hermit mode he wants to move forward he desires to move forward um, he feels like he's moving forward emotionally um, however mentally he's at a crossroads okay so but more importantly he you know in the moment he he's feeling this deep love and connection with the feminine on the feminine side we have the three of Pentacles which represents a, a firm solid foundation so she is working on the 3d reality or she's focused on stability um, she may be trying to manifest a long-term goal and remember we did see that energy being represented on her side um, spiritually she's uh, it's that kundalini awakening the ace of wands showed up as a shared energy between the two at the heart um, so spiritually there is this ignition switch there's this go like go time and uh, mentally though she is um, trapped in the mind or putting an end to negative thoughts and again cool synchronicity we see that process happening in the twin flame reading um, emotionally she feels like the queen of cups masculine emotionally is a chariot so that's movement and he's moving towards the queen of cups who is receptive and she embodies unconditional love so as an overall energy between the two we have two pentacles and so this is balance this is feeling pulled in two different directions it's making a decision having that seed of intention planted and as it does and you know it takes root it manifests in the, into the 3d um, there's a sense of feeling uneasy unsteady so the message is to bend with the wind to go with the flow which was the message for the um, feminine side of the twin flame reading so both sides are trying to find balance peace and, and harmony in all areas of their life um, so that their dreams can be manifested into the 3d okay so let's go through each position so the hermit is somebody who seeks solitude um, in order to um, gain spiritual wisdom and they've purposely disconnected from the 3d um, in order to go within to find their own light within so we saw this spiritual um, journey definitely on the, the masculine side of the reading for the twin flames um, so you know the energy is turned away from the connection at the moment um, and like I said that's because he's finding his life light within so this is the, in the physical he may be in a in the hermit mode spiritually he's the eight of wands so the eight of wands like I said turned up in the past position uh, for the masculine um, the distant past actually so this is um, feeling motivated feeling inspired feeling like you know the pedal is to the metal basically the engine um, you know is you're you're moving forward with a great deal of power and passion your goals are within sight and so things are starting to manifest into reality and because of that it empowers you to move forward so this is accelerated motion but it's also communication Cupid's arrow so the masculine spiritually feels uplifted he feels like he is 
gaining spe speed in terms of a spiritual journey. Um, and he's feeling very motivated, very powerful. Now the the air or the Cupid's arrows are directed towards the twin, to you know the feminine. She's holding, and you know that Ace of Wands in her hands, and it's almost like this beacon of light. Um, so she, she, you know, she is. Um, she feels inspired. She feels like she's ready. She feels that you know there's a lot of intuitive um, answers that are coming to her, especially with the, her being the queen of cups up there, who is, you know, a very intuitive person, and this is a kundalini awakening, so there's this, um, you know, receptivity to spirit and to the masculine. But let's go back to the masculine. So, um, he is a chariot emotionally. So this is taking control of your life, taking those reins and directing your energy, focusing your energy on the external world. It is overcoming obstacles, controlling the vortex with your surfboard, right? It's like using your environment um, to your advantage in order to move forward. But this is really, he wants to, he desires to move forward with this spiritual union. You know, he wants to feel connected. He wants to um, come out of the hermit state and share his love, but p pursue things that make him happy. So he's, he's emotionally, he's, you know, taking control of his life. And you can see that reflected in the Twin Flame reading as well. He was the Eight of Cups. He was moving away from emotions that were, you know, overpowering him um, and clearing that energy uh, with the four swords healing his heart and the, the sacral chakra was in the future so becoming um, open you know clearing that blockage okay so the two of swords is in his mental space so this is a decision um, needs to be made and it is a feminine energy being represented here so maybe he feels that he's waiting for a decision from the feminine right it's this chariot is moving towards the Two of Swords. So um, we we saw the Two of Swords energy in the crowning uh, for the feminine. Okay, so I did mention there's a sense that maybe she's waiting for the masculine to come. Right, the, um, the Two of Wands was um, a shared energy between the two of them. So he had the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new start, 3D reality, and it's like they both. As a crowning energy, one moved through that do open door to expand, you know, to grow that Ace of Wands into the Two of Wands. So um, he is at a crossroads. He's making decisions mentally, um, and it all has to do with love and spirituality. So again, at in the present moment that he's feeling the two of cups so this is recognizing your true love and having the heart chakra opened and as a result it opens higher levels of consciousness so on the 5d level you know we see the third eye chakra being activated in his uh the third eye chakra came in in the past position for the masculine so there and he also you know had that incredible card at the end a message from the universe that has to do with consciousness and awakening. So there's this spiritual advancing. He's advancing to higher and higher levels um, spiritually and emotionally, definitely. And things are, tar are starting to pick up speed, right? So he's moving towards um, breaking through barriers but ultimately he's trying to find balance within himself and within the physical reality so the feminine 3d three of pentacles this is putting work and effort into creating a, a long-term goal the ten of pentacles so it's very similar energy to the page right that she got the page in the future in terms of what she was bringing into the union so this is it could mean you know um well what it is 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 using your skills to create abundance and um, 
and being recognized for all of your accomplishments, right, by your peers, but um, and feeling stable in what you've created and knowing that there's still more work to do. So in the 3D reality, although she feels grounded, that, that she feels that there's still a lot of work to do. Just one moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, so um, she is working towards the future. She's, her attention, her focus is on manifestation. So spiritually, again, it's the Ace of Wands, Go Light, Go Time, Kundalini Awakening. So she um, is, is directly con uh, connected, not only to the masculine, but to the collective consciousness. And, you know, she is tapping into the power of the universe in order to harness that power and, and create what she, you know, to manifest her desires into 3D. So this is, you know, wanting to start a new life that is more aligned with your spirituality, feeling inspired, and, um, you know, it's a thrust forward towards that. And, you know, it's a spark of creativity. So she's, I'm seeing like this artistic expression here, right? So three of pentacles um, is using your talents to create abundance and this is inspiration creative um, you know creative energy so the heart is or sorry the emotional is she's the queen of cups that's beautiful so the energy is directed towards the masculine um, emotionally she loves him very very deeply and she feels content um, emotionally within herself she feels content enough to be able to be an open vessel to give love unconditionally regardless of what's going on mentally physically or spiritually she is she her heart is wide open um, however she may be closed in the physical okay we did see that on her side of the reading mentally she's um, she feels excluded or shut out and you know it's a self-imposed prison of the mind but it's because somebody's making her feel that way and it's probably because of that indecision but anyway she is giving love unconditionally and she's also very intuitive Con you know like I mentioned earlier with the ace of wands um, she's using her inner knowing to guide her and that's why she's feeling so em emotionally grounded Okay, so mentally, ten of swords. So she wants to put an end to um, negative thing, thinking. She wants to be released from that prison. Um, you know, and so, yeah. Um, we can see on the, her side of the reading that a lot of her blockage in the 3D has to do with mental noise and it's coming from the past, from the Five of Cups, from having expectations about the future and because it didn't work out, it, it broke her heart, right? And so she didn't close herself off emotionally, but she did close herself off in me mentally and in the 3D. And it's because she is concentrating on growing her spiritual vision in the 3D reality. So in her present position is the solar chakra. I can't talk. Sorry, solar plexus chakra. Um, so this is um, having power and confidence. Um, you know, it is a blockage. <clears throat> it's a lower chakra. So she is trying to find strength and power within herself to pursue passions um, that you know, spark her or to open her up, create, you know, in a creative way and emotionally. <clears throat> Sorry. So, yeah, so this, you know, gives us a snapshot of both aspects. I did say it is a masculine reading, um, but I did kind of want to, you know, introduce the elemental reading to you. So I'm going to pull some additional cards. I'll add this video to the feminine side as well. So I'm just pull these back. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a past, present, and future for the masculine. Um, 
And I'll do the same thing for the feminine. So I hope you're able, you know, to make sense of all of this. Okay. I like doing this because you can see where your blockages are, eh? All right, let me just move this up. Okay. So, three cards, past, present, and future, and I'll read those to you. So, in the past, we have co-create, yes. Okay, present is no place like home. Awesome. And didn't I say in the Twin Flame reading, you masculines, you want to, this, to create this sense of home. That was huge, huge. The King and Queen of Pentacles kept on showing up over and over again. It's like this union, this desire to manifest this spiritual union into the 3D. The future is going to be to the sea. Very nice. So this is a very similar card that the feminine got. Um, you know, and that's just allowing the current to, current to take you where it needs to go. So I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And exchanging gifts, very nice. So there was this journey to being open and coming together in 3D reality. And, and so that's definitely another cool synchronicity that we see here. All right, I need to pause the video. I'm going to get the book and I will read those to you. Okay, so we're beginning with the past, so number 40, co-create. Okay, so creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation, right? So again, there's this very intense desire to create or to manifest um, this long-term goal <clears throat> and it was showing up on both sides and so it kind of um, solidifies that idea of of wanting to to manifest this long-term goal into the 3d reality as a co-creative approach do you know what i mean both aspects need to come together to co-create this reality all right so the relationship message is connections of the heart serve to inspire you, right? That's what I was saying. Connections of the heart inspire him with the chariot movement. There's this higher consciousness of rise and acceleration. Um, connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. That's exactly what I said, walking through that door, expansiveness. Um, you're looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in unexpected ways. Um, who is the extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is unique beauty or sorry your love is a unique work of art now the very embodiment of beauty so I see here like a very strong desire like I said earlier to manifest um, you know I was just noticing there's um, an ache here right so it's that seed of intention being planted and um, both aspects coming together, nurturing it with that that strength card energy, very gentle, nurturing, um, you know, love, which creates a space for for the manifestation. Okay, so in his present position is no place like home. Fifty. Very cool synchronicities here, guys. I hope you're paying attention. You'll have to definitely watch all the videos. Okay, so essential meaning is authenticity, coming home to yourself, isn't that what I said? Feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. And remember, he had the five of wands as a final outcome. So there was this confidence issue that he was dealing with, and ultimately he's riding the chariot and the knight of wands. Um, with the Knight of Wands en energy, with the Eight of Wands, there's this directed, focused, concentrated energy on achievement. 
Okay, so the oracle message, or sorry, the relationship message is lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in knowing um, the knowledge that is, sorry, I can't really read this. Um, let me just try again. You are in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of fam familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together you add to the love of the world. Wow, right. So, um, like I said earlier, he had the king and queen of pentacles. They're, they are a powerhouse couple. They, their main focus is uh, on creating this home you know, this stable, grounded home. It's just absolutely beautiful. You know, we got the mother, the father, um, who are focused on um, creating abundance and stability for their family. So we see with the spiritual union that there's a deep love here and a desire to manifest it into the 3D. That's what's important to him right now. So coming out of that hermit state and co-creating this reality, right? Manifesting it into the 3D, is just, that's incredible. All right, so for the future position is go to C. Okay, so the meaning is being in uh, the flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. So the relationship message. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So, movement, the chariot, exactly the same thing, except the chariot is taking control, right? And so the message to this card is to let go of control. So there's a desire to move forward in the present moment emotionally. And there's a sense of him surrendering to the process and allowing, you know, destiny to bring him where he needs to go. Okay, so exchange of gifts is the overall energy and message from the universe. So let me just pull, open that up for you. Okay, the law of giving and receiving, currency trade-off, weighing the um, costs and determining value. And so on the feminine side, we, we saw this energy of her being closed off in the 3D. Okay, and the Six of Pentacles was showing up in the future, so there was a sense of her moving towards becoming open. All right, so relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order to, for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. So um, the overall energy is the masculine is coming into this openness and desire to, to come together to co-create this beautiful home um, yeah but at the same time there's a sense of him um, being drawn towards the feminine who is the Queen of Cups up here right okay so um, we've already pulled you know the overall message from the universe, or this is actually the overall energy. So let me just pull one more card. No, actually no. We'll we'll stop it there. I, I don't want to overdo it. So I do hope this message helped, and I do enjoy your comments. So please uh, feel free. 
Um, and if you're waiting for uh, your reading, um, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get back on track. Uh, so please be patient with me, and I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers.